السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گریشیس اینڈ مرسیفل مائی ڈیئر بردر اینڈ سسٹر رمضان منتھ از جسٹ اباؤٹ ٹو بکن مے دا اللہ المائٹی شاور یور پاتھ وتھ لائٹ اینڈ نالج مے دس منتھ برنک جوائے health, wealth, and happiness to all of us. My dear brother, I wish all happiness and prosperity. May all your dua be answered. My dear brother and sister, we should dedicate ourselves to self-sacrifice, such as avoiding any sins like lying, adultery, to get someone's right, disobeying our parents or elder, backbiting, gossips while fasting. My dear brother, the essence of fasting throughout the day to practice self-restraint Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Fasting is a shill. It will protect you from the hellfire and prevent you from sins. My dear brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, the fasting has been decreed upon you so that you may obtain taqwa my dear brother umar bin khattab radhiyallahu ta'ala anha asks ube ibn kab radhiyallahu ta'ala anha to what is taqwa ube radhiyallahu ta'ala anha replies with an incredible examples he says to umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anha have you ever taken A thorn path, Umar says, yes. He then goes on to ask him, so how did you travel along this thorny path? Then Umar Razallah Ta'ala Anha replies, I rolled up my garments and was cautious to where I would treat to avoid being pricked by the thorns. Ubair Rezullah Ta'ala Anha says, this is taqwa. My dear brother and sister, it is an amazing example that illustrate this meaning of taqwa. So we should conscious and careful which Allah has forbidden. Then we can gain this virtue of taqwa by fasting. Dear brothers, we constantly being cautious to not to eat or drink during the day in Ramadan. We develop a heightened sense of awareness and God consciousness. Similarly, we would be able to train ourselves to be cautious from falling into any sense. Okay, my friends, see you again with some new topic.